Welcome to Let It Be About Him First, Lord Jesus Christ. On this channel, I will be reading through the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Let's learn about Lord Jesus the Christ together. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 45. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by, by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am the Lord and there is none else. I form the darkness and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I am the Lord. I, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down, ye heavens, from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe unto him that striveth with his, mar with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou of thy work? You have no hands. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, What begettest thou? Or to the woman, What hast thou brought forth? Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his Maker, ask me of things to come concerning my sons, and concerning the work of my hands. Command, command ye me. I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their hosts have I commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, and he shall let go my captives. Not for price nor reward, saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord, the labor, of, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee in chains, they shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God is in thee, and there is none else. There is no God. Verily thou art a God that hidest thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens. God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inherited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in the dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. Tell ye and bring them near. Yeah, let them take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is none else. I have sworn by myself the word is going out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say, In the Lord have I righteousness and strength. 
even to him shall men come, and all that are licensed against him shall be ashamed. And all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. And the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Chapter 46. Bel boweth Nebo stupid. Their idols were upon the beasts and upon the cattle. Your carriages were very lo were heavy loaden. They are a burden to the weary beasts. They stoop, they bow down together. They could not deliver the burden, but themselves are gone into captivity. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born by me from the belly, which are carried from the womb. And even to your old age I am he, and even to hoar heads, and even to hoar hairs will I carry you. I have made, and I will bear, even I will carry, and will deliver you. To whom will ye liken me, and make me equal, to compare me, that we may be a that we may be like. They lavish gold out of the bag, and weigh silver in the balance, and hire a goldsmith, and he maketh it a god. They fall down, yea, they worship. They bear him upon the shoulder, they carry him, and set him in his place, and he standeth. From his place shall he not remove, yea, only shall cry unto him. Yet they bear him up on the shoulder. They carry him and set him in his place, and he standeth. From his place shall he not remove. Yea, one shall cry unto him. Yet can he not answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this, and shew yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a ravenous bird from the east, that man executeth my counsel from a far country. Yea, I have spoken it. I will bring also, I, also, I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it, it will also, I have purposed it, I will also do it. Hearken unto me, ye stout-hearted, that are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness, it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. Chapter 47 Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people, I have polluted mine inheritance, and given them into thine hand. Thou didst shew them no mercy upon the ancient. Hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke? And thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this. Thou art, therefore, hear now this. Thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment and one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seek it, none seek me. Thou hast trusted in thy wickedness thou hast said none seek me thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thine heart i am and none else besides me therefore shall evil come upon thee thou shalt not know from whence it riseth and mischief shall fall upon thee thou shalt not be able to put it off and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly which thou shalt not know Stand now in thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. 
If so be thou shalt be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly pro pro progno prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, no fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter, none shall save thee. Chapter 48 Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah which swear by the name of the Lord and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth, nor in righteousness. For they call themselves of the holy city and stay themselves upon the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I shewed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is an iron sinew, and thy, bow, and thy brow brass. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I shoot at thee, lest thou shouldest say, Mine idol hath done them. And say, and lest thou shouldest say, Mine idol hath done them, and my graven image, and my molten image hath commanded them. Thou hast heard, see all this, and will not ye declare it? I have shewed thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didst not know them. They are created now, and not from the beginning, even before the day when thou heardest them not, lest thou shouldest say, Behold, I knew them. Yea, thou heardest not, yea, thou knewest not. Yea, from that time that thine ear was not open, for I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously, and wast called a transgressor from the womb. For my name's sake will I defer mine anger, and for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have ref behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction, for mine own sake, even for mine own sake. Will I do it? For how should my name be polluted, and I will not give my glory unto another? Hearken unto me, O Jacob, in Israel, my, in Israel my cause. I am he, I am the first, I also am the last. Mine hand also hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens. When I call unto them, they stand up together. All ye assemble yourselves, and hear which among them hath declared these things. The Lord hath loved him. He will do his pleasure on Babylon, and his arm shall be on the Chaldeans. I, even I, have spoken, yet I have called him, I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, there I am. From the time that it was, there am I. And now the Lord God in his spirit hath sent me. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. O oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandment. Then had then had thy peace been a, been as then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed also had been as the sand, and the offspring of thy bowels like the gravel thereof. His name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me. Go ye forth of, go ye forth of Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans with the voice of singing, declare ye. Tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth, say ye, the Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. And they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. In chapter 49. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people, from afar. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the 
vows of my mother hath he made mention of my name. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me. I said un and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for naught and and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with my God. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes shall, princes also shall worship, because of the Lord that is faithful, and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. Thus saith the Lord, In an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee, and I will preserve thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritage, heritages, that thou mayest say to the prisoners, Go forth to them that are in darkness, shew yourselves, they shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them. And I will make all my mountains away, and my highways shall be exalted. Behold, these shall come from far and low, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinan. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains, for the Lord hath com comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. For Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget a sucking child, that she should not have companion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste. Thy destroyers and they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee. Lift up thine eyes round about, and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee. As I live, saith the Lord, thou shalt surely clothe thee without, with them all as with an ornament, and bind them on thee as a bride doth. For thy waste and thy desolate places and the land of thy destruction shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants. And they that swallow thee up shall be far away. The children which thou shalt have after thou hast lost the other shall say again in thine ears, The place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. Then shalt thou say in thine heart, Who hath begotten me these? Seeing I have lost my children and am desolate, a captive and removing to and fro. And who hath brought up these? Behold, I was left alone, these. Where had they been? Where had they been? Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles, and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captives delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of, of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee and I will save thy children, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I am, and all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer.
the mighty one of Jacob. Chapter 50. Thus says the Lord, Where is the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away? Or which of my creditors is to whom or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Behold, for your iniquities have you sold yourselves, and for your transgressions is your mother put away, and for your transgressions is your mother put away. Wherefore, when I came, was there no man? When I called, was there none to answer? Is my hand shortened at all, that it cannot redeem, or have I no power to deliver? Behold, in my rebuke, I dry up the sea. I make the rivers a wilderness, their fish stinketh because there is no water, and dieth for thirst. I clothe the heavens with blackness, and I make sackcloth their covering. The Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning, he wakeneth mine ear to hear after learned. The Lord God hath opened mine ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned away, neither turned away back. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheek to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from, from shame and spitting. For the Lord God will help me, therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. He is near that justifieth me. Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is mine adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me. Lo, they all shall wax old as a garment. The moth shall eat them up. Who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and hath no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his God. Behold, all ye that kindle a fire, that compass yourself about with sparks, walk in the light of your fire and in the sparks that ye have kindled. This shall ye have of mine hand. Ye shall lie down in sorrow. Chapter 51 Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bare you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places. And he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving, and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for, for a light of the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and my arm and mine arms shall judge the people. The owl shall wait upon me. And on mine arms shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke. And the earth shall wax old like a garment. And they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness. The people in whose heart is my law. For ye not... Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revilings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Art thou not in that hath cut Rahab? Art thou not it that hath cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it which hath dried the sea, the waters of the great deep that hath made the depths of the sea a way for the ransomed to pass over? Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou, that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that, sh that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made of as grass? And forgettest the Lord thy maker that hath that hath stretched forth the heavens, and laid the foundations of the earth, and hast 
feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy. And where's the fury of the oppressor? The captive exile hasten, hasteneth that he may be loosed and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. But I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name. And I have put my words in thy mouth and have covered thee in the shadow of mine hand that the earth and say, and I have put mine word, and I have put my words in thy mouth, and have covered thee in the shadows of mine hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk it, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling, and wrung them out. There was none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth, neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up. These two things are come unto thee, who shall be sorry for thee, desolation and destruction and the famine, and the sword, by whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. Therefore hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith the Lord, the Lord, and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put it in the hand of them that afflict thee which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over, that thou hast laid thy body as the ground, and as the street to them that went over. Chapter 52 Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughters of, of Zion. But thus saith the Lord, Ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. But thus saith the Lord God, My people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught, that they, they that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord. And my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that do that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that pluck that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out. From thence touch no unclean thing, go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean and bear the vessels of the Lord. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your re-reward. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently, he shall be exalted and extolled, and be very high. As many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man. As many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations, for kings shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. Chapter 53 Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? 
For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form, no comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was, des he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed. And he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he opened so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteousness by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Chapter 54 Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the, ma the married wife, say the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine inhabitants. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts, is his name in thy redeemer the holy one of israel the god of the whole earth shall be shall he be called for the lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit and the wife of youth when thou wast with refused saith thy god for a small moment have i forsaken thee but with great mercies will i gather thee in a little work in a little wrath i hid my face from thee for a moment but with everlasting kindness will i have mercy on thee say the lord thy redeemer for this is as the waters of noah unto me for as i have sworn that the waters of noah should no more go over the earth so have i sworn that i will not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee for the mountains shall depart and the hills be redeemed but my kindness shall not depart from thee Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, say the Lord, that hath mercy on thee. O thou afflicted, tossed, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of a gates, and thy gates of car carbuncles, and all thy borders of flesh and stones. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shall thou be established, thou shalt be far from the oppression, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. 
Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Chapter 55 O oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yeah, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear to come unto me, here and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it, it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the seal shall clap their hands. Instead of the horn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Chapter 56 Thus saith the Lord, Keep ye judgment, and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness is, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, and keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Let blessed is the man that do, blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the strangers Stranger, neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths, and choose the things that please me, and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place and a name better than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants. Everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar. For mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. The Lord God which gathereth the outcasts of Israel say, say, The Lord God which gathereth the outcasts of Israel say, Yet will I gather others to him, besides those that are gathered unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour, yea, all ye beasts in the forest. His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain. 
from his quarter. Come ye say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. Chapter 57 The righteous perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart. And merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorcerer. But draw near, but draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Against whom make ye a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? And ye, are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? And flaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rocks, among the smooth stones of the stream, is thy portion. They, they are thy lot. Even to them hast thou poured a drink offering. Thou hast offered a meat offering. Should I receive comfort in these? Upon a lofty and high mountain hast thou set thy bed. Even thither wentest thou up to offer sacrifice. Behold, the doors also in the posts hast thou set up thy remembrance. For thou hast discovered thyself to another than me. And art gone up. Thou hast enlarged thy bed and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest lovedst their bed where thou sawest it and thou wentest to the king with ointment and didst increase thy perfumes and didst send thy messengers far off and didst debase thyself even unto hell thou art wearied in the greatness of thy way yet sayst thou not there is no hope thou hast found the life of thine hand thou hast thou hast found the life of thine hand Therefore thou wast not grieved. And of whom hast thou been afraid or feared? Thou, and of whom hast thou been afraid or feared, feared? That thou hast lied and hast not remembered me, nor laid it to thy heart. Have not I held my peace even of old? And thou fearest me not? I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, for they shall not profit thee. When thou criest, let thy, comp let thy companies deliver thee, but the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them, but he that putteth his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain and shall say, Cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in a high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I be always wroth. For the spirit should fail before me and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth and smote him. I hid me and was wroth, and he went on forwardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comfort unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is far off and to him that is near, saith the Lord, and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest. Whose waters cast up mire and dirt, there is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. Chapter 58 Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily, and delight to know my ways, as a nation that did righteousness, and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice, they take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast ye find pleasure, and exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast 
for strife and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. It is such a fast that I have chosen, a day for a man to afflict his soul. It is to bow down his head as a bulrush, and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him. Wilt thou call this a fast, and an acceptable day to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of the wickedness? Is this is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the to the hungry? And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine help shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer, that thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If if thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and seeking vanity, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Chapter 59 Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. For your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, your tongue hath muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies, they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cockatrices' eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction are in their path. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Therefore is judgment far from us, neither doth justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold obscurity, for brightness, but we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we hid and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in, the, as in the night. We are in desolate places as dead men. We roar all like bears and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none. For salvation, but it is far off from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee. And our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us. And as for our iniquities, we know them. In transgression, in transgressing and lying against the Lord, and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, 
conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood, and judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off. For truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness did sustain him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate, and the helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, according he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. To the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. The Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed say the Lord, from henceforth and forever. Chapter 60 Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the, uh, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of Campbell. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall shew forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebuzoth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud, and as the doves to their wind? To their windows. Surely the house shall wait for me in the ships of Tarshish first, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the places and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am, the sa am thy Savior. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron, I will also make thy officers peace, and thine ex exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, 
wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy, glo and thy God thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of thy planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Chapter 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath hid me. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to open chapter 61 the spirit of the lord is upon me because the lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn to appoint them to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joyful mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. <clears throat> and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your, and your vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall you boast yourselves. For your name you shall have double, and for confusion, for your shame you shall have double. For your shame you shall have double, and for confusion. They shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, for your shame you shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, and they that all that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth, for as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. For Zion sake, for as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Chapter 62. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt be called Hephzibah, and thy land Beulah, for the Lord delighteth in thee. 
in thy land that shall be married. For as a young man marrieth the virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the, in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. And the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and the praise of the Lord. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare you the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stone, and lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath pro proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye, say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh, behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Chapter 63. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Is that a glorious... Who? Chapter 63. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel traveling in the greatness of his strength i that speak in righteousness mighty to save wherefore art thou wherefore out wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fact i have trodden i have trodden the winepress alone and of the people there was none with me for i would tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garden and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own, therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. And I would tread down the people in mine anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I would bring down their strength to the earth. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord, according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us, and the great goodness towards the house of Israel, which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies, and according to the multitude of his loving kindnesses. For he said, Surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their Savior. In all their affliction, he was afflicted and the angel of his presence saved them in his love and in his pity he redeemed them and he bare them and carried them all the days of old but they rebelled and vexed his holy spirit therefore he was turned to be their enemy and he fought against them then he remembered the days of old moses and his people saying where is he that brought them up out of the sea with the shepherd of his flock where is he that put his holy spirit within him that led them by the right hand of Moses with his glorious arm dividing the water before them to make himself an everlasting name, that led them through the deep as a horse in the wilderness that they should not stumble. As a beast goeth down into the valley, the Spirit of the Lord calls him to rest. So didst thou lead thy people to make thyself a glorious name. Look down from heaven and behold from the habitation of thy holiness and of thy glory, where is thy zeal and thy strength, the sounding of thy bowels and of thy mercies towards me? Are they restrained? Doubtless thou art our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel knowledge, and Israel acknowledge us not. Thou, O Lord, art our father, our redeemer. Thy name is from everlasting. O Lord, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways? O Lord, why hast thou made us to err? from thy ways and harden our heart from thy fear. Return for thy servants' sake, the tribes of thine inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. 
we are thine. Thou never bearest the rule over them. They were not called by thy name. Chapter 64. Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. And when the melting fire burneth, the fire causeth the waters to boil, to make thy name known to thine adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. When thou didst terrible things which we looked not for, thou canst, when thou didst terrible things which we looked not for, thou camest down, the mountains flowed down at thy presence. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen, O God, besides thee, that he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. Thou meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness, those that Remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned in those is continuance, and we shall be saved. Thus meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned in those in, in those is continuance. In those is continuance, and we shall be saved. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all are But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. And there is none that calleth upon thy name that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee, for thou hast hid thy face from us. And hast consumed us because of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, thou art our father. We are the, the clay, and thou our potter. And we all are the work of thine hand. Be not wroth very sore, O Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee, we are all thy people. Thy holy cities are a wilderness, Zion is a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation, our holy and our beautiful house. Where our, where our fathers praised thee is burnt up with fire, and all our pleasant things were laid waste. Wilt thou refrain thyself for these things, O Lord? Wilt thou hold thy peace and afflict us very sore? Chapter 65 I am salt of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought, sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out mine hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels, which say, Stand by thyself. Come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burnt incense upon the mountains and blasting me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord. As the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servants' sakes, that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell thee, and my servants shall dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks in the valley of Accor, a place of the herds to lie down, a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people have sought me. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks in the valley of Accor, a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. For ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called ye did not answer, when I spake ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, and ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for, for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name, that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. For behold, I create new heaven and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be you glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence an infant of days nor an old man that hath not killed his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inherit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat of the fruit. And they shall build houses and inherit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall, they shall not plant and another eat, for as the days of a tree are the days of my people. And mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And whilst they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock. And thus shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, saith the Lord. Chapter 66. Chapter 66. Thus saith the Lord, The heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yeah, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes, and chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, for he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. So... For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth, say the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, say thy God? Rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her. All ye that love her, rejoice for joy. Rejoice for joy with her. All ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with with the breasts of her consolations, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. 
And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herd. And the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his servants, and his indignation towards his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens, behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination, and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them unto the nation, unto the nations to Tarshish, Paul, and Lud, that draw the boat, to Tabal and, and Javan, to the isles of all that have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. And there, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles, and they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord out of all nations upon, house, upon horses, and they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord out of all nations upon horses and in chariots and in litters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain, Jerusalem, saith the Lord, as the children of Israel bring an, an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. And I will also take of them for priests and for Levites, saith the Lord, for as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, say the Lord. So shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, say the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. And they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh.